this shit was going on for a while, all right? Let me see. I got this video. Let me see if I can see what's going on. Give me a second, chat. Yeah, they said a nigga went to the water fountain, got hydrated again, and came back and beat him up, man. This shit was ridiculous. Did the video not send you? Let's go and get here in a second. Um, <clears throat> from what I can tell y'all, I'll give y'all an update on 6 9 The video did come in. Um, he is okay. Maybe bruised ego, but 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 you know he is gonna be okay. I don't know the full extent of his injuries, um, but here we go. Niggas on. Okay, okay. I don't know where this music is. Is the music on? Okay, yeah, it is. So let me just do like this. Cool. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, a little update on 6 9 Um, you know, yeah, little bruised ribs. You know, I don't think they chipped his tooth or nothing like that, but, like, you know, got some injuries. He was bloodied a bit. But the biggest thing is probably bruised ego, um, which, honestly, if you're going to be that type of guy who talks shit, who's in the streets, you got to imagine something of the sort's going to happen. Um, ironically, i seen even people like, hey, Critch commented on this. There's, like, mad videos of niggas duffing them out. But it's just par for the course. Like, you got to, you know, you win some, you lose some type of shit. So, you know, this is clearly him taking his L, and that's what it is. That's what that's what I have to, to, to say about it. Because it's not like he's an innocent angel, right? I don't know if it's just unprovoked or whatever. I'm imagining maybe he was talking some shit. But you got to take your licks because when you laughing at other people, if they take their licks, if you take your lick, you get, can't imagine people can't laugh at you. Anyway, this longer video um, that kind of showcases. And by the way, Drill, if you are going to put this shit up, remove or blur all this shit out. Uh, YouTube has once contacted me again for the other page saying that they're not into watching violence. Okay. But if it's on live, it's cool. <laughs> Here we go. So this is a longer video. Here we go. A nigga just dubbed over the shit with his music? What the fuck? All right. Here we go. So this is the last 10 minutes of the beatdown, people. So this nigga, he's just all the way in there. By the way, I realized with this guy, he has like beard. Like he has like a beard, uh, um, a grayed up beard. Yeah, this is kind of brutal. All things said, he's protecting his face as much as he can. He's trying. The guy's hold okay. The, oh, the guy's holding his hair. If you can see, the guy's holding his hair. Okay. Is that when he throws up a sign? I don't think that's him throwing up a sign. Okay. Okay. It looked like, is he throwing up a sign here, Chad? Is he? Look like they leave him alone, and I see almost like a sign. Is that a sign? That's not a sign, is it? What sign is that? <laughs> this is a wild boy. <laughs> if that's what sign is these throwing up?
By the way, Bullet Guzman's daughter hit me up. Ain't gonna lie, Bullet Guzman's daughter, bad as shit. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> but I had to chill, because I'm like, if if that's Bullet Guzman, imagine what he do to me for talking to her trying to fuck his daughter. <laughs> I'm like, y'all chill. <laughs> I chill, nigga. Yo, Bullet Guzman's daughter, I'm like, yo, that's my daddy. <laughs> And, and I clicked on her page. I said, oh, shit, forget your daddy. What's going on? Then I'm like, oh, that's Bullet Guzman. Nah, nah, nah. That's Bullet Guzman's kid, bro. But she was telling me, she was like, nah, that's not my, she's like, that's not my daddy in the video. I don't know why everybody keeps saying it's my daddy. And the whole time I'm like, man, forget that video. But I was like, it's Bullet Guzman, man. It's Bullet Guzman. All right. What's he throwing up? Damn, this spit on. Do you see that Lukey? Nigga, that nigga might have COVID, AIDS, herpes, SARS. Ew. What the fuck? Gotta get a. I gotta get a. I have to get an STD test after getting the ass over by these things. Oh, shit. No, he, okay, okay. This is... Did he try to throw something up? He do look a little dazed, though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, his ribs is taking the because he can't protect his ribs and his his head. So his ribs is taking a lot of punishment. I ain't gonna lie. He's doing the best thing though. Cover the face. Cover the face. Cover the face. Cover the face. He's doing as much as he can. He's doing as much as he can. We gotta be honest. Okay. Oh shit. Ah, I don't see my emails. I think I see shit. Well. There's some other videos. Let me see if I can find it. I haven't obviously posted none of these. Uh. Let me see. There's one where they're trying to hide him. They're trying to hide him in um in a room. Let me see if I can find it. They're trying to hide him in in the room. Hold on, give me one second. I'm gonna try to. By the way, yo, yo just send me on my Instagram. Yo, oh my chat, Send me on my, send me on the gram, bro. Send me on the gram the video. And there's a guy who's like, All right. Wait, could, could somebody send me this shit? It might be on level of hip hop too. Hold on. It's basically when <clears throat> they're escorting six nine. They're escorting him to like a room, and apparently this is the people that work there. Where's the video? And there's like somebody trolling him. Hold on. All 
All right, unless one of y'all sent, sent to me. Oh, okay, here. Thank you. Oh, it's on no jumper. All right, yeah. Y'all niggas be watching me, and when I be asking y'all to send me something, y'all be acting like y'all got to resend it. That it jumps to the top of my DMs. All right, perfect. Um, yeah, so I think No Jumper posted it. And what, what they posted was like an after thing of uh 6 9 like, you know, getting... Bro, stop recording. Uh, hey, man, it's a free country, man. No, don't stop recording, though. Stop recording. It's a goddamn free country, man. Come on, stop recording. Yeah, come on, bro. They got that one good. I'm gonna be honest with you, and this is the next. This is the next thing we gonna get to. When I talk to Six Nine, I'm gonna talk to him with two attorneys. We gotta sue LA Fitness. They got too much money. They allow this this bullshit to happen there. We gotta get some bread off of this. Nigga, we gotta get some bread. Chat. You don't think we should gotta sue LA Fitness? They allow some thugs to come in. They don't got no gym membership. Ran up in there. I'm in the sauna, chilling back. Lame, like, yo, you know, I just did the Stairmaster for like an hour. My knees are done. I'm chilling like, yo, let me just get all the toxins because I've been in the strip club last night. Let me sweat out the henny. And all of a sudden, three Latin kings, one of them old as dirt, open the fucking door. And I'm like, all right, what up with y'all? And they just hop on me. I'm suing. We got to sue. Now, I'm going to have to talk 6 9 into this because... Like, I know people call him a snitch, but he really don't be thinking that, like, he has a reputation. So, I might have to convince him to file this lawsuit. But I think we got to sue LA Fitness. Like, 100%. We got to sue LA Fitness. They allowed dudes to beat you up. And the footage recorded in their establishment ended up embarrassing you. And it has damaged your career irrevo irre irre irrevocably. And you need to now file this lawsuit. But anyway. Now, bro, me, I'm a big fan, bro. So we're here, we're happy. Sheesh. This is the funny part. People will, like the guy recording, he says, homie, I'm a big fan. And then watch what happened now. Since now I got his ass whoop. <laughs> this I'm tell you, this nigga, he want. He, he says six nine got his ass with one six nine says hell no. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, man, this nigga. It, the only thing bruised is his probably his ego. I'm probably I'm telling y'all the truth, and that's why people think that it's over for him. I think he gonna come back and be like, yeah, I got my ass with, but and what? Like you know what I mean? Like he's still, like he's an egotistical nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they say you got your ass whooped. His face is bloody. His mouth is bloody, and the niggas and they say Yo, you got your ass whooped. Hell nah, <laughs> like hell nah. Me ass whooped? No, <laughs> hell nah. What are you talking about? Police can't help you now, man. <laughs> Troll can't help you now, man. <laughs> So I think they put him in that room or whatever the case is. Um, okay. I think they do it until police come. Um, if you ask me, and, I, and I'm, I'm just honestly telling you what I believe, police came, the police, number one, um, everything, the reason why I think that flyer came out saying that they're looking for tips, I believe local police is going to get contacted by the FBI. Whether 6 9 um, you know, 6 9 obviously turned down, um, he turned down, what do you call it again? Witness protection. But if the feds continually want people to snitch, right? They are going to need to incentivize somewhat safety. So yes, 6 9 turned down witness protection, but it's in their benefit to probably hit up local law enforcement to say, yo, make sure y'all solve this shit. We need somebody in cuffs for it. So if the feds call local, like a, a random beatdown, you're not seeing, hey, if you have any tips who these niggas are, tell us. You're not going to see that for a regular crime in a regular random city. But the feds who probably are going to call in to say, yo, this is the most famous snitch we have on the streets. And if he's getting beat up without rep re repercussions, this might deter other people from cooperating. 
Because I'm going to tell you the truth. I believe that because 6 9 has remained untouched in, in a sense of he's living life, other people are saying, wait, so snitches do not get stitches? Oh, I'm a snitch too. I think more people have started to cooperate because they have seen a famous nigga tell on somebody and live in the life. People used to think snitching means the end of your life. So I think the feds probably realize that optic, right? He's going to realize that optic and, and say, well, let's put some pressure on the local police force to make sure they solve that crime, to make sure we need this to still be in the minds of people. If you fuck with somebody that told you're going to jail. Because that's kind of an illusion. That's an illusion that has kept 6 9 safe. I've told y'all this. 6 9 will go somewhere alone. And the niggas, niggas will claim they, they'll take a video of him. And afterwards they'll be like, yeah, I would have beat this pussy ass snitch up. But I know he with the feds. He was alone. He wasn't with nobody. But, you know, every, you know, just like all the gangster rappers in, 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 in hip hop say, oh, we not trying to go to jail. I ain't gonna lie. That's what Charleston White does. And he fools all everybody. Yo, well, I, I talk to, you know, Charleston White, he said, I talk to the cops often. Oh, the cops are my friends. Oh, like, well, not unfortunately. Fortunately, if you tell a motherfucker that if they touch you, they're going to jail, it's the best, it's the best security of all. It's the best security of all. A nigga will claim he hates you, sees you, but then he'll talk some shit, but then he'll be like, man, the only reason why I beat that nigga up is because I didn't want to go to jail. Okay. <laughs> so the threat, the threat of being locked up is the best security of all. So I see Charleston White do it. Charleston White, you know, like, first of all, I don't think people could really decipher between joking and, and, and satire. When Charleston White says he called the FBI, do you think the FBI is there like, hey, Charleston, what's up? Like, do you, do you really think that's happening? You know what I mean? Like, the FBI don't have no fucking allegiance with no Charleston White. But if he say it, all the tough dudes who claim they want to kill him, they're going to be like, man, I ain't trying to get locked up. That's all he need because he know you're not going to do nothing. So now that myth is broken in a sense of, you know, every, what people always say is when you see 6 9 if you don't see the security, they're still there or the police is going to hop out. No, he was a regular citizen. He got beat up. And yes, because the gym is going to have to call the cops, he can't just leave because if they report the, the, the situation wrong to the cops that two people were fighting and once Daniel Hernandez, he's getting taken into custody, he got to stay. He's on parole. He got to stay. I'm sorry. He just got to stay. But now the feds probably going to have to go make sure that I'm pretty sure in the next couple of days they're going to lock that dude up, like lock all three dudes up. As a matter of fact, chat, we might have to do our takeoff investigation. That's how we slide. We might have to do our takeoff investigation. Hold up, chat. We might have to f figure these things out right now. Full government name, phone numbers, social security address, and everything, man. Here we go. We might have to do that, chat. Hold on. Give me a second. Chat, should, should we figure out who these niggas are on live? Or should we let the cops do their job? We did it, we did it for takeoff. We not above doing that shit. We'll find we'll find where they live, they mama live. I low-key kind of know who they are already. <laughs> that was me pre-planning the slide. <laughs> Chat, you want to know how, how how the sliding was going to happen? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Chat, I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Here we go. I told you we were gonna slide. <laughs> Wait, where's where that? Where's that, Chat? <laughs> we definitely were gonna slide. We were gonna slide. Hello, hello. What y'all looking at right now? It's this stream. Told you we're going to slide. We're going to slide the names of the individuals to the police, nigga. They was going to be in cuffs. That's the only slide we was going to do, Chad. We were going to slide the, the name of all three perpetrators to the cops. Okay? That's what sliding we were going to do. 
We were going to slide their name, background, criminal history. We were going to slide the name of the probation officer. We was going to get that boy 25 to life. I like not being a gangster. I can say all this shit. Imagine what gangster said what I said. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, we ain't telling you. Yo, chat, I'm going to tell y'all, man. If y'all coming up, you want to be me more than you want to be a gangster. See, they can't even call me a snitch. They just can call me Ack. Yo, he's, he's a civilian. He can do what he want. But anyway, I got no problem with the Latin Kings. I heard the Latin Kings are pretty good guys, usually. I don't know what happened here. Um... We're going to say some prayers for 6 9 in a few minutes. So, uh, you know, uh, if you guys could collectively, you know, we're going we're gonna to join virtually our hands together. We're going to close our eyes and we're going to see a nice big giant. You, you, ever, you ever watch Dragon Ball Z when they did the spirit bomb? We're going to do like the spirit prayer for 6 9 today, man. We all got to pray for him. Um, make sure he's okay and make sure that the, the assailants who did this, you know, meet justice. <laughs> Hands off on YouTube says, yo, Ak, why does it matter who did it? He got touched. Stop moving the goalposts. Of course he got touched. Yo, here's the funny thing about it. Yo, I think people really been taking 6 9 saying he can't get touched as like it's a thing. You do know they killed John F. Kennedy. Like, it, the, are, we, are we really believing that people are Superman? Like when 6 9 yo, it's like when every boxer who's undefeated said, yo, I can't lose. And unless you're fucking Floyd Mayweather, you're going to lose. At some point, it just happens. It's, it's whatever it is. It's good to market with because you like seeing the person who you feel can't lose or can't get beat up take a L. But nobody's denying that, bro, he took a L. He got beat up. Like, that's what it is. You know what I mean? All right. We'll get back on the 6 9 stuff in a little bit. I seen some stuff leak. Um, uh, I'll address it real quick. I seen some stuff where it was like a night D got leaked. Um, some possible videos and also um, like addresses and credit cards that got leaked. I don't know where that came from at all. I'm, I'm trying to look into that as well. Some people are saying they believe that the... The guys who beat him up took the shit and like put it online. Some people believe it might be an ex that did it. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, but there's some stuff that's floating around. I have no idea about. Again, we're gonna pray for six nine a little bit, but um, it is what it is. Okay. <clears throat> 